Now these have been out for a while, but I've never actually been on one. So let's just cut straight to a walk round. I'll show you what I'm on today. Oh, it's a beautiful winter's day. No one can ever call me a fur weather rider. I'm riding around in ice. The only thing I won't go on is snow. Anyway, it's enough about me. This is the star of the show. It's the Kawasaki Z650. What do we think? I really like it. This is like what you go to when you're fed up of leaning over the tank. You know, you, you're fed up of that sports bike and you want to get yourself something that is still a little bit sporty, but you feel more comfortable on. And that's what this is perfect for because it's a really comfortable bike. It is but it's still quite sporty. You still lent over it a little bit. In fact, I'll jump on and show you. Less talking, more sitting. Oh. So you can see, position. Excuse the belly. Diet starts tomorrow. But you can see straight away, flat-footed, both sides. But when you sat on the bike, you are lent forward only a little bit, but enough that you notice it but not too much that you're going to get a sore back like you're not like sports bike where you like that over it you're just kind of just touching the tank but it's a nice nice seating position to be fair oh. what do we think of the colour scheme as well I weren't so keen on the white when I first got on this bike. When you sat on the bike, it's there. It's kind of, it's not doing it for me. But when you look at the bike side on, you can appreciate all the colours together. And I think the white, the black, the green, it just all goes really nicely together. It really stands out. Beautiful looking bike. Let's have a look round, usual way. Let's have a look at the exhaust first. For me, because I'm not a big fan of all this Euro compliance stuff, it ruins motorbikes, in particular the sound and the exhaust, but I think these have done a decent job. They haven't got a big fat exhaust pipe that's coming all the way over here. They've kept it nice and tidy down there. Let's have a look at its cheeky face, shall we? Oh, is that just me, or does that, does that look like a smile? It's putting a smile on my face anyway. We've got some two discs Nissan brakes at the front and they do work really really well. And we've got one disc Nissan brake at the back. If you've had one of these you'll notice there's a few little extras on here. First thing, we have got uh, some Motec crash protection buttons. This side, it, it's just standard for me, this. We've not got loads of buttons going on. We've got your horn, indicator, high, low beam, and your flash. Usual places for those. And we've got your hazard warning lights there. We've got the heated grips. They are not standard on this bike. It's an aftermarket set that somebody's put on. I think I'll be putting those on full blast when I'm finished. On the right-hand side, we have got your start... We've got your engine cut off, and that is all we've got on that side. So, fairly basic as far as the buttons go. Let's start us up. It's got a speedo. It's got your gear indicator. You've got your revs, rev meter that goes right through the middle. We've got fuel gauges. We've got total miles, engine temperatures, we've got clocks, we've got average MPGs, we've got all that stuff. Everything's nice and bright and it's it's got everything that you need and it's, it's got a splash of colour to it and it's not got too much on that it's going to take your eyes off the road. The seat is actually really comfortable. There's no grab handles or anything to speak of down here for your pillion. You could ride your ride them cowboy or they're just going to have to cuddle you, aren't they? Arms round you, cuddle time. So only take someone on the back that you don't mind having a cuddle off. It's a two-year-old model, so it's a 2020 bike. But 
if you told me it was a brand new bike, I would believe you because it's absolutely spotless. It, it is. It, everything about this bike is, is just perfect. The paintwork, even like down to the, the crash bars, the, there's just no scuffs or scratches anywhere. In fact, the only marks on it is just from the bit of dirt that I've picked up while I've been riding. You can see frosty leaves. What's your view on the Z650? It's just, for me, it's another good Kawasaki motorcycle. And I'm sure if you look hard enough, you'll find a bad one. But I don't think I ever have. I've owned a couple of Kawasaki's myself. And I've always found them to be really reliable and fun. And they are make sure you join me for the test ride you can see how this one rides it looks nice let's see if it rides nice and don't forget if you're new to the channel if you've never been here before don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to give me a comment as well and we'll have a chat oh i do like it but do you know what i really like I like the heated grips, so I'm going to throw my gloves on, we're going to get riding, and I'm going to warm my hands up, because it's bloody freezing. Let's go play. Let's have a little listen to it, shall we? Yes. She sounds nice and frisky. I'm a bit of a Kawasaki fanboy, I've had a couple of them myself and I just find them so easy to ride, so easy. They just go through the gears really, really nicely. I always feel like I'm on a bit of a premium bike when I'm on a Kawasaki, everything just feels really nice with them just feels really really well put together it's quite slim so it's good for the little sneak through the traffic even when you do have what I like to call a bell end leaving not a lot of room for you on the other side of the road but it's cool because this bike's not particularly big but it does have a 650 engine or I don't know if is it a 649 I don't know you know me and stats the stats will all be at the end so if you're interested in all the facts and figures make sure you stay for the end because I'll always pop that on so you'll get all of the the bits that you might find interesting personally for me and it's why I do the reviews how I do them I kind of want to know if a bike is quick then obviously that's important if it's capable of doing motorway speeds then that's important and how it feels I'm, I'm interested in how comfortable a bike is I'm not overly bothered about a particular millimeter size whatever that's not something really that I'm I'm overly asked about I'm just bothered about how it feels so it, it tends to be why I do the reviews the way I do them on kind of looks and feel and then if you want and you're interested in the stats then you know I'll pop them on there for you but I tend to not be over technical on my reviews Give it a little twist on the old throttle only. Oh, you filthy bugger. <laughs> oh, get that in you. It does, it picks up speed beautifully, this bike. It's not like lightning quick like you would expect from like a thousand cc bike where you know you feel like your teeth are coming out your rear end because they're being blown back that much oh. 
it is beautiful so if you're interested in this bike into moto have kindly let me take it out today so i can share the the ride with yourselves so if you're interested in buying this bike or any bike check out the website because there's always loads of bikes on offer if you don't want this and you're just looking for a new bike just have a look see what they've got so i'm not going to uh, i'm not going to blabber on too much about this bike these bikes have been out for a while now and anybody who's interested in one i'm sure will have already seen a million videos on youtube or wherever about them because they have been out for a couple of years i would just say to add my little 10 pennies worth is that they they were a great bike and I, I don't think I've ever seen a review of anyone who would claim otherwise you know there are other bikes out there that you could compare them to like the Suzuki GSXS and the the MT similar style bike it, it all boils down to personal preference doesn't it which one do you think looks better should you buy a Z650 Kawasaki new or on the used market I would have to say hell yes these bikes are as good a naked bike as you will find out there I think they're very well priced if you're a new rider or certainly a new to the big bikes this bike would be perfect for you and if you've been riding for years and you want to downsize your thousand cc heavy lump again good alternative because it's lighter or the weather has got a bit colder i'm just having to scale down a bit on the test rides just because weather and i've not been prepared enough to do enough to keep two a week coming out so for the next couple of weeks or maybe even months depending on whether i'll only be putting one video a week out so i will be consistent i will put them out every sunday and they'll be on first thing in the morning so when you wake up you'll have something to look forward to Whoa. anyway thanks guys thanks for watching and i will catch you next week see you later